Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meet again. And uh, in this quick tip, I'm gonna show you how to remove seams from modular clones. Now, you're probably thinking, what the hell am I talking about? Um, so let's just jump straight in and uh, you'll see exactly what I mean. I'm gonna create a cylinder and uh, I'm also gonna change my display to growled uh, shading lines so we can see what's going on. And uh, I'm gonna remove the caps, we don't need them. And if we look at the um, object, we can see that it's 200 centimeters um, high. And we're going to need to know that in a minute. So uh, also, we're going to need it sitting on the floor as well. Um, so let's move it up by 100 centimeters. So that should be dead on the floor now. Excellent. So we've got what we need. Let's uh, make this editable. And I'm just going to make this into a bit of piping with some irregular shapes. So I'm going to go to my rectangle selection, go to lines, and uh, let's give it a tolerance selection as well. Okay, so we select all these, it will select it all the way around because we haven't got um, select visible elements ticked on. And I'm going to uh, edge, oops, not dissolve. Can I edge cut? Um, I didn't actually. Let's see, let's just apply that, take off, create engons. So we've got a line here now, and then we can up the subdivision. So we've got some more interesting stuff going on now. Let's whack that up to eight. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to press UL for loop selection, and I'm going to select all our loops here. Du -du -du -du. Okay. And uh, in fact, I'm going to select every other loop. So we've got some kind of like corrugated piping. And uh, I'm going to take the scale tool and I'm going to scale these out. So we've got something like this. Okay, that should do as uh, maybe a little bit more extreme. Okay, and then I'm going to... Uh, UL again, so I've got my loop selection back, and I'm gonna shift select all the other all the other loops. So we've got all of them, bar the top and bottom. Now it's important that these stay the same uh, circumference, so they can meet when we clone them. So I'm gonna take the bevel tool, and I'm gonna bevel these out a little bit like this, and uh, I think I'm gonna subdivide it one more time just to make them a little bit smoother, maybe twice. So we've got something like this. So if we come out of this now um, and go back to our normal shading, we can see we've got something nice and pretty. Uh, what I might do in the fong tag as well, just to smooth this off, is take off the edge breaks. So there we go. So we've got like a corrugated piece of, uh, piece of tubing now. Now, what if I wanted to clone this or even clone it or sweep it around a spline or something like that? Um, if I take a cloner object and pop this in, uh, this is our result so far. Uh, by default, the cloner will make it a linear clone and it will do three counts. So let's just bring this down so we can see what we're doing. So there's one, there's two. Okay. Now, the offset for this is 50 at the moment on the Y direction. So if we bring that up, we can see that um, it's, it will separate them out. But we know that that uh, amount is 200, which is fine. And now we can up the amount and it will just add them on the end uh, as long as we want. Now, the problem with this, and uh, it's pretty hard to see because the material is white. So let's just give it a material. Let's give it a dark red so we can see what's going on. Let's make it nice and shiny as well. Um, we'll remove the default specular and add a GGX and give it a dielectric for now. And we can whack that on the cloner. Right, the problem we, that we have now is, so the, here's our first clone. And as we get up to see where it meets our second clone, we've got this seam. And this is what I'm talking about. If we wanted to make a modular bit of piping like that, all's well and good. But we can see this seam here, and it looks totally out of place uh, in context with the rest of the pipe. This is all smooth. Let me just get rid of that grid. 
Um, oh shit, what did I press? Uh, okay, yeah. So it looks all smooth up here, and then when we get to the next modular piece, which will be, you know, the gap, the where it connects, we've got this seam, and we don't want that. Um, and there's a really simple way to uh, to get rid of that. If we create a connect object and then put our cloner inside of that, bang, the seam goes away. And that is because anything inside the connect object, Cinema 4D makes one object. It's, it sees it sees it as a, a single object. And that's probably something to do with this weld tolerance. So if I take weld off now, you can see the seams come back. And if I turn it back on, seam disappears. So that was just a quick, well, a quick tip, um, how to get rid of seams on modular clones. Hope that was helpful for you guys. Uh, as always, check out the website, digitalmeet.uk. Um, there you can vote on the on the upcoming tutorials. There'll be a list of possible tutorials, and uh, you can vote on them. Uh, also, check me out on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. There'll be links in the description. And as always, there'll be a link to my Patreon in the outro music. Okay, cheers, guys. Thanks for listening. Bye. <laughs>